High up in the Alps, the Guerra Valley is home to a rather unusual collection. It's here where you can find the largest number of sundials in France, with 70 in total. These bygone clocks adorn the walls of houses across the region. It's a tradition which comes from the neighboring Piedmont area of Italy. In 1821, all the locals passed by the church in Villevieille because its sundial was the only way of finding out what the time was. Today, it takes some deciphering to understand what the sunlight is telling us. You see, the dial goes from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the evening. You can read the time on its face when the shadow runs along the entire line. A little further on, we meet Rémi Poté, the last sundial maker still working in France. Here we are at the church in Sillac. He's restored nearly all the valley's dials. The oldest in the region took him a little longer to finish. During the restoration, we discovered the faces of three different dials on top of each other. The most recent dates from 1823. Underneath that, there was a second glaringly obvious dial with some digits already appearing on the left, dating from 1732. And then, underneath that one, there was an even older dial from 1698. Most of the region's dials date back to the 19th century, when Italian artists cross the mountains to paint their works on the churches and houses, like here in saint Véran. Here we have a sundial made by Jean Bula, one of his first creations from the 1840s, with this rather simplistic decoration and with this marble frame. We can also see his signature there, the initials on the left side. We also have this time mechanism, which is very much in his style and still perfectly accurate. Built more than 2,000 meters above sea level, this village has become France's sundial capital, with more than 30 found here. Some of them are old, but others are brand new, like this one which David has just finished. His dial is not like the others. He decided to engrave his love affair with his Peruvian wife into the stone. There's a reflection that represents the family. There's a play on the angles. Above you have the Alps and an eagle, and below there's a condor. Then on top there's a Tumi head. It was a knife used in Inca sacrifice. In the Keira region, the sun shines 300 days a year. While these rays are needed to tell the time, they can also damage the dial's paintwork. So that their work stood the test of time, the artists used a very special technique. We can see that this dial is still in perfect condition. The key technique was the use of natural pigments diluted in water, which were then applied to the whitewash while it was still moist. The color was therefore permanently locked into the plaster, making it much more long-lasting. These sundials tell us a lot about the history of the area. This was the home of an old family of solicitors, their wealth allowed them to have two dials, one facing the rising sun, the other facing the setting sun, which meant that they could tell the time all day long. The owners of these dials were often well-off people who had the means to afford such decorations on their houses. They also show a level of culture. Those who put sundials on their wall had some knowledge of the workings of the sun and of time itself. A self-taught artist, Rémi has been making sundials in these hills for 20 years. Each one can take months to complete. These watercolours are the first important step for any order that he receives. 
When I'm working on a dial, I am protected from the sun by plastic sheeting, so I have little space. I can't keep climbing down to see if all the proportions are correct or not, so I have to work from a blueprint like these. Rémy is mainly inspired by the local wildlife and by the mountains. The locals in these parts all have a fondness for their sundials. The colourful clocks illustrate the region's history and heritage as soon as the sun rises and casts a fresh shadow upon them each morning. <laughs> <laughs>